You guys, today we want to go book shopping. We know that Books A Million just had a huge Labor Day weekend sale. We definitely didn't make it there for that, but we wanted to go because we haven't been in a while. Lucy Score's new book just came out, so I'm really hoping they have it. This is the third book in the Knock em Out series, and I've been waiting for this couple to have their own book since the first book, so I'm gonna get it if I see it. I don't really have anything I'm looking for, but I know that every time we go to Books A Million, they have a bunch of good books in their bargain books clearance section, so that's definitely where I'm gonna go first. Before we head out, if you're in need of some new glasses, you're going to want to hear about today's sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. We have talked about them before, but if you don't already know, GlassesUSA.com is one of the biggest eyewear retailers in the U.S. They offer thousands of eyeglasses and sunglasses such as Ray-Ban, Gucci, Oakley, and more. One of our favorite things about GlassesUSA.com is that their glasses are starting at $39, which is up to 70% off of retail price. They actually just launched a new collection that was handpicked and curated by Marseille Martin, who we absolutely love. Everything was inspired by her and her advocacy for positivity, which is so cool. You can check out this new collection exclusively on glassesusa.com's website by clicking on the link in the description and if you love the frames we're about to show you we also have a crazy exclusive offer as well we did want to mention how easy it is to shop on their website they actually have a quiz that you can take and it only takes about a minute to complete it does suggest the right pair of glasses for you based on your face shape and the things that you need so that is really great and we actually did take that quiz this time around for our new glasses they also have an AR virtual try-on tool that you can use to see how the glasses look on your face in real time. It's super helpful. We always use it to try on our glasses before purchasing. Something else we love is that shopping at GlassesUSA.com is a risk-free shopping experience with free shipping and returns and a 14-day 100% money-back guarantee. These are the sunnies I got this time. I really like them because they're perfect for an everyday wear and I also really do like the shape of them. These are my blue light glasses. I wanted a black frame this time because last time I did get silver and and I do love those, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I got these. And then these are the blue light glasses that I did end up getting. I absolutely love these. These are perfect for when we're staying up really late editing our videos. These are the sunglasses I got. I know last time I got them a little more girly and I wanted some less girly so I can wear every day. And I like these, they're tiny. Hmm. Right now, GlassesUSA.com is offering a crazy exclusive discount on top of any coupon code they already have on their website just for you guys. This deal is only available for the next 24 hours so make sure to click the link at the top of our description box to get more details thank you again glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video now let's go book shopping Guys, we're back from Books A Million and we got a huge bag full of books. We were correct. We did miss the Labor Day sale, which sucks because I know they had a bunch of books that were 50% off, but that's okay. We still got some good ones. First up, you guys knew I had to get things we left behind. I can't believe it was there. We went to Target and it wasn't even there, so I was really scared. I thought all the book girlies got it. I finally just finished the second book in this series, so I am so ready to read this last one of Lucian and Sloan. 
own this couple I have been waiting to hear about since the first book. I know this is the last book in the Knockabout series, so I'm ready to see what this couple is about. I kind of think they're going to be my favorite couple because they do have that enemies to lovers bond in the small town romance, so I'm ready. The first one I decided to pick up is for the fall season, which is The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. I have seen this one a lot and I think it's going to be perfect for spooky season. The top says living in two worlds is exhausting. No one knows this better than Jake Livingston. As a medium, Jake sees ghosts around him all the time. While most of his life Jake has avoided them, this time there is no running away. Sawyer was a troubled teen who shot and killed six kids at a local high school before taking his own life. Oh, this is dark. Now he's a powerful, vengeful ghost, and he has plans for the afterlife, plans that include Jake. When Sawyer begins stalking him, high school becomes a different kind of survival game, one that Jake is not sure he can win. That sounds spooky ooky. We just put out our fall books video, and I'm definitely gonna add this one to my TBR because it sounds perfect for the fall, but I'm honestly just glad I have it already. I absolutely love the cover. Next, I got You've Reached Sam. I have wanted this one for so long, and this price is actually better than the book outlet price not to bring up book outlet <laughs> I'm always checking and to see that this one was a better deal I had to get it it says it's a heartfelt novel about love and loss and what it means to say goodbye 17 year old Julie has her future all planned out move out of her small town with her boyfriend attend college in the city and spend a summer in Japan but then her boyfriend Sam dies and everything changes I didn't know he had died I know that's a lot that's a lot. So obviously Julie is heartbroken and she's desperate to hear him one more time. So Julie calls Sam's phone just to listen to his voicemail recording and Sam picks up the phone. <laughs> Like, what are you talking about right now? It says the connection is temporary, but hearing Sam's voice makes Julie fall for him all over again. And with each call, it becomes harder to let him go. So is he like actually alive or is it more of like, I think she's almost like contacting him in the afterlife. This sounds so sad. Now this cover makes a lot more sense. The title makes a lot more sense. This seems really heartbreaking. This is good. How do you move forward when everything you love is on the line? Oh, that's good. I can't wait to read this one. I know this one has been out for so long, so let us know if you have read this one and your thoughts on it. So the next one I decided to pick up is Master of Iron by Trisha Levenseller. This is the sequel to Blade of Secrets, which I read earlier this year. I really did like book one, so I'm glad they had book two. I don't want to read the inside because I do think it kind of spoils what happens in Blade of Secrets. But basically in that first book, Ziva creates magical weapons. She ends up creating this blade that's super powerful and to keep it out of the wrong hands, she decides to run away with it. We do follow her journey as she's running away. We follow her sister and a couple people they pick up along the way. It was super good so I can't wait to see where the story goes with the sequel. Next I got All My Rage by Saba Tahir. This is the one that Saba Tahir won an award for while we were at the Neil Schusterman signing. So ever since that encounter I figured we have to read this book to know what all the hype is about. I do like this blurb on the back. It says this is not the Saba Tahir you know but it's the Saba Tahir you need to know. All My Rage is a gorgeous star-crossed story about the cost of the American dream and the way unexpected routes appear when you need them the most. I read this in a single day. That is convincing me to read the story tonight. Oh, I have it too. I do want to read it when you decide to read it. It was only $5 in the little clearance section, so I figured that is a perfect time to pick up the book. The last one we picked up there is Love and Olives. Neither of us have read this book yet, but we've heard great things. I know there's a Netflix adaptation already. I think it came out maybe last summer, and I have waited to watch it because I wanted to read the book first. It says Santorini felt like an island holding its breath as if it were keeping a secret. Liv doesn't like to think about her father much, which makes sense. He fled to Greece when she was only eight. When teenage Liv suddenly receives a postcard from her father asking her to fly out to Greece to help him with a documentary, she is less than thrilled. She basically goes to Greece. There's many questions. She's going to have it out with her father. It's giving Mamma Mia, which I really love. So I think this will be a fun summer read maybe for next year. That was all the books we got at Books A Million. We do want to keep book shopping a little bit. So we want to go back to the Houston Book Warehouse, but we're probably going to stop at at Starbucks. So let's go.
we just got back from the Houston Book Warehouse. It's always so much fun there. She has it stocked so nicely. I don't know if she remembered us, but we said we were back for more books and she was like, thanks for coming again, so. She just somehow knew that I would want this and she was right. It is, it ends with us, but it's that special edition that just came out. I'm gonna display it so nicely on my shelf. I mean, pink, I couldn't just leave it there. I had to get it. She had picked a couple books and put them on the side and she's like, here are ones I think you guys will like. And I'm like, sure, she thinks, well, we'll look through to be polite. No, she was correct because one of the books on there was A Deal with the Elf King by Elise Koba. And I have wanted to read this for so long, you guys. This book is on Kindle Unlimited and I had planned on reading it eventually. I didn't even know they made a physical copy, but I picked it up as soon as I saw it. I know it's like a whole Married to Magic series and this is the first one. They can all be read as standalone. So one of the blurbs on the back says, a Deal with the Elf King is a perfect fantasy romance escape for anyone looking to lose themselves in magic. This beautiful story brought out all the feels and left me craving more of this world. I cannot wait. It says the elves come for two things, war and wives. In both cases, they come for death. So I'm sure there's going to be a arranged marriage maybe, but I mean, if it's a deal with the Elf King and this is the Elf King, I'm so down. Yeah, I'm just super excited. I'll probably read it on my Kindle and then I'll have the paperback. We also found Kristen Hanna's Magic Hour. You guys know I love Kristen Hanna. Probably gonna buy any book I see of hers anytime we're out thrifting. It says from the number one New York Times best-selling author of The Nightingale and The Great Alone comes an incandescent story about the resilience of the human spirit, the triumph of hope, and the meaning of home. Okay. A mystery thriller that we found there is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson and I have seen such amazing things about this mystery. So basically this guy has a delayed flight and he meets this woman. They start talking. He starts ranting about like his cheating wife and this and that and the girl he's venting to says do you want to kill her like i'll help you is that not insane and it's like a whole thing there's like a bunch of secrets unraveled it says dark and twisty i just thought it sounded good so i knew we had to pick it up when i saw it there but i mean it's just another mystery thriller not that we need more of those more mystery thrillers that we didn't need more of we found when you see me by lisa gardner lisa gardner is a staple in the mystery thriller genre and then and we found The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware, who also is another staple author in the mystery thriller genre. So we couldn't just leave those there. We had to pick these up as well. I think it's been a pretty successful day today. We went to Books a Million. We got all our books. We got our Starbucks. Starbucks is so good. Every Thursday, they're doing buy one, get one free. After 12. And it was popping at our local Starbucks. We had to wait and drive to a different location because people were getting in on that deal. Mm -hmm. Then we went to a different Starbucks and they were out of all of the fall items so then we had to go to another one i mean i understand the hype it's so good so we got a bunch of new books to add to our bookshelves let us know if you've read any of the books that we bought today that's going to be it for today's video make sure to join our book club if you haven't already we are currently reading divine rivals by rebecca ross this month it's a fun fantasy romance so that link is in the description as well as the glassesusa.com link that will be the first link in the description box so make sure to check out that exclusive offer thank you again glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video and we will see you next time that sounds spooky ooky. Um, spooky ooky. <laughs> Last one we found there is Love and Olives by. A, I don't know her name is like <laughs> covered. This is good. How do you move forward when everything you love is on the line? That's good. Literally. I'll give them that. That's that is good. very good. Good job, Dustin. <laughs> you did that.